It was an unthinkable mistake. A woman lighting what she thought was a candle in a dark basement, and then a huge blast. Tonight, the 30-year-old mother is hospitalized, the dynamite in her hand taking off her fingers and causing severe damage to her face. So where did the dynamite come from? I would assume reporter Marcus Solis live from Bridgeport with the latest. Marcus? And Diana Bridgeport's fire chief says this wasn't how it's depicted in cartoons. It wasn't a bright red stick with TNT written all over it. The firework was actually a small brown cylinder that in a darkened house could be mistaken for a candle. And tragically, it was. For me, it sounded like a gunshot. That was uh, next door. It turns out that noise was from something far more explosive, an M1000 firework that exploded in the hands of a 30-year-old mother of two. The incident took place on Lindley Street in Bridgeport, which lost power during last night's thunderstorms. The family, which had recently moved in, remembered seeing what they thought were candles in the basement. They brought them upstairs. There was two. She lit one, went to move it, and it, and it exploded. It detonated. The force of the blast seriously injured the woman, who lost at least one finger and may lose more. She also suffered injuries to her face. Her husband and their children, ages 2 and 11, were not hurt. It's sad for the husband, the wife. The kids, the, the I mean, so many people are affected now. It's just, you know, we, we feel awful. M1000s are sometimes referred to as blockbusters or quarter sticks. Though they technically contain less explosive than an actual quarter stick of dynamite, they are extremely powerful. Last night, police evacuated adjacent homes until a bomb squad search of the house was complete. An investigation is underway to try and determine where the devices originated. There's no criminal intent, there's no criminal investigation, so we don't know if there's a previous owner or maybe even the owner before that. You know, it was just some old dusty thing stuck in a corner type thing. The victim now transferred to Yale New Haven Hospital where she is recovering. And fire officials say it is an extreme case. Fire is usually the bigger hazard, but it is yet another reason why candles should never be used for emergency lighting.